I would like to greet with great joy and love all of you who will be listening and watching this program. Major Gorje to me is a place of grace and miracles, place of prayer, place of miraculous conversions, the place where many have found that what they had been looking for throughout their lives. Major Gorje is the place of peace, it is the oasis of peace. When you come here, you always long to return. Why? Because something miraculous has happened here. Heaven opened up, our Heavenly Mother Mary came to us, the Queen of Peace. Peace is that value precisely that we all need. Without peace, we cannot be joyful, happy or pleased. Peace is the greatest value consisting of the fullness of life, fullness of joy and happiness. In order to have peace and to be happy and to bring happiness to others, it is necessary, as Our Lady says, to convert oneself every day, to believe firmly in God, to do penance and to pray with heart, to pray with love. Who gets to understand this here in this place of grace, he understands everything, he grasps the main message that Medjugorje gives as a gift to all. Many are grateful to God for having come here, finding faith, meaning to their sufferings, their crosses, their lives in general. Hence many say, I would not be able to imagine my life in faith, my true life without Medjugorje. I have become true practicing believer since I went to Medjugorje and prayed on the Apparition Hill and the Cross Mountain and the beautiful Medjugorje Church. We have to be grateful for all that has happened here. Miraculous conversions took place here. Only God knows how many millions of people came here, how many found peace of their heart here and how many decided to start living a new life. I know many people who came on a pilgrimage to Medjugorje because I too spent personally ten and a half years here. I will never forget these ten and a half years of my life. I did not know visionaries before Our Lady started to appear to them. I was not able to be here for several days of the apparition since I was preparing youngsters for confirmation, first, second and uh, third uh, uh, grade of high school. I arrived to Medjugorje on the fifth day with another priest in the evening, he spoke with Vitska and Ivanka. He was open. I kept quiet and just listened. He asked Ivanka, is our lady as beautiful as you? And Ivanka was very beautiful. She laughed and said, Father, if you could see the Blessed Mother, you would wish instantly to die in order to see her again. I remember that. It is stuck in my memory. Visionaries are those who Our Lady chose, who God chose, in order through them to give us a message. Neither did they expect anything like that. It was sudden and unexpected to them. That detail helped me personally. Our faithful experience that young boys and girls who lived here I could not think for a second that they were inventing this, that they did not know what was happening. They were healthy and normal. They saw, they had that gift, that grace to see something supernatural, something that was not of this world. And they transmitted it to us. We saw the Blessed Mother. If healthy, normal person says that, what else can we do but to trust that it is really so? I have always loved our Heavenly Mother Mary, especially after all that I have experienced here in person, encountering numerous pilgrims who confided with me that Our Lady has truly helped them and that without her they cannot picture their life in future. I would like personally to give thanks to God for all the graces and gifts that He bestows on us here, for all the miraculous events that are happening here on this ground. As at the time of this plague, pandemic, many people already entered eternity. We are called to take seriously this time 
of grace, this time of conversion, prayer, time of our spiritual purification, time of our decision for God. Pilgrims say, and it pleases me to hear, Medjugorje is indeed the place of grace where you can experience that God loves you and has his plan with you. That, that helps our conversion. Medjugorje is place of grand moving conversions, which is without uh, with what Our Lady wants. Because when man is converted, filled with the grace of God, he is ready for everything. He can endure a lot of renunciation and sacrifice, can do miraculous things. Faith is about you opening to God, surrendering to Him, trusting Him, allowing Him to lead and guide you. It is of extreme importance that by coming here we continue to grow in faith, that great virtue without which there is no true conversion nor true prayer. When Our Lady calls and teaches us to pray with heart, it does not mean our out of tradition and a habit, but with love, trust, with confidence, with a pure heart, the way God expects it from us as Our Lady is teaching us. To pray with heart, firmly to believe in God, it means to be certain that God will hear your prayers and answer them, that He will grant us what we come here for, to this place of grace. What seemed to be of the greatest importance to me was that people here easily become repentant and humble. Those who perhaps did not live their faith as one should, found here grace that helps them to trust God and to start to pray with heart as Our Lady wants us. That changes men. There are people who were going to the Holy Mass for years but never lived it with their heart and love. They did not understand that it is the Word of God directed to them, and Jesus Christ, Divine Savior, is here, sacrificing Himself for us, granting us everything as a gift, expecting from us to return our love to Him and our loyalty. Like nowhere else, I witness moving confessions here. Like nowhere else, man says, Our Lady has been waiting for me here for 20, 30, 40 years, some say, to do what God expects for, of me, to leave the sinful life behind and to start living the life in grace. Many claim that words are far too poor to describe their experiences, but they live it deep within them, try to live it and show to others that it is possible to be convinced believer Catholic today. I also know of many priests who said that they had moments of crisis in their lives in priesthood, but when they heard confessions here and saw people praying, encountering God, something miraculous also happened in them. They came to love their vocation all the more and became more ready and willing to make sacrifices for their brothers and sisters. Over thousands of people of whom I know many personally since I was here during ten and a half years discovered their vocation to serve God and men, their brothers. Many who lived almost without God claimed to have encountered Him here and decided to be totally of God, dedicating themselves to God through their vocation to priesthood or religious life. That too is a sign that God is in action here in a special way. Miraculous. There have always been difficulties, problems, different diseases, but the latest pandemic has reached the, the majority of mankind. We are called to turn even this for our sake. 
I would like to say to those who come here and those who are here in their heart and mind, let us turn every moment of life into the moment of salvation, not only for ourselves, but also for our brothers and sisters. God is giving us his grace, not only here in Medjugorje, but throughout the world, wherever one opens up oneself, believes in God, surrenders to him, awaits from him his help and miraculous power. Every man can turn every and each moment of his life into the moment of salvation for himself and his brothers and sisters. That is my message to you. I think that this is what our Heavenly Mother wants from us. She said, dear children, I want you all in heaven, live like that and come to me with the gift of holiness. That if we try to be holy, good to everyone, pray for the conversion of all, that is the safest way to holiness, to salvation. Let us live this life. It has been granted to us to earn eternity, heaven we have been created for.